Hello everybody, John Dunlop here, Seafood Metal Art. Um, in this video I'm just going to show you briefly how I made an angelfish that's for the wall. It's 18 inches by 18 inches. It's a piece I made recently and I thought it came out pretty cool. And you know I have a couple of photographs I'm going to share with you and uh, show you the progression of this piece. And hopefully give you some ideas and get you guys out into the metal shop. Alright? Have a good day, and thank you for watching my videos, and as always, your feedback is welcome. Thank you. Okay, what we have here is the uh, understructure of the fish. As you can see, I already cut out and hammered the uh, fins and attached them. The body is just a, you know, hammered out concave uh, piece of steel to so we can attach the scales. I have the fin, and the face we do after the scales. Here you can see the back side where I just took two pieces of rebar and bent them to make the outline of the fish and pretty much everything is uh, assembled off of that. From here you see we attach the scales, we go from the tail forward leaving the head for last. Now you can see the scales go under the head, then you attach the head and then those last couple of scales at the top of the head are attached after the head is on. And then we put a wire wheel and a drill and we clean off all the weld marks and get everything nice and clean so we can um, add the heat marks and then uh, for after we add the heat marks with the torch, that's how we color it, then I'm going to clear coat it. Here you see it's clear coated. The clear is pretty much just poured on. I just like brush it so generously that it's just dripping everywhere, oozing into all those nooks and crannies, into the scales. Then I let it drain a little bit and then I put it on my rotisserie, actually I put it on the rotisserie but then I turn the rotisserie on and I just let it rotate overnight until the clear dries. This way you, uh, you know, don't get any runs and it just comes out nice and flat as you can see here. And uh, that's the piece. Okay, so there you have the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. I love getting feedback and... Um, that's it. Enjoy yourselves. Have a good time out there and uh, hope to see something, you know, that you guys would make or maybe I inspired somebody to make something. All right. Take care.